What is going on, you guys? It's WWE Asylum 16. You're coming at you guys with the draft review. Yes, we've been waiting for months for this to happen. It's finally here, and it finally happened last night on SmackDown. On the first Tuesday night SmackDown, I should say. The WWE draft took place, and boy... Wow, what a show it was, and there was a lot of people that were drafted, and the the people from NXT, pretty pretty solid choices. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I have a whole list here of everybody. You know, I don't know if you can see this, but everybody who was selected for the draft. For Raw and SmackDown. So here he goes. Here's Raw. And here's SmackDown. And I'm going to be reading the, this entire list at the end of the video. So now let's get into this review. So we kicked off the show. Shane, Ste Sh Shane and Stephanie, they were out with Daniel Bryan and McFoley. And the show already started off with the first five draft picks. And a lot of people were um, were saying that Seth Rollins was going to be the number one pick, and they were and they were right. They were indeed right. Seth Rollins has been drafted to Raw, and it seems like he's going to be the top the top draft pick for Raw. Dean Ambrose was next, the WWE champion. He was SmackDown Live's first pick. So Ambrose is on SmackDown, that means the WWE Championship stays on SmackDown, which means the returning World Championship will go to Raw. So, solid choice there. I was kind of expecting Ambrose to go to SmackDown. Uh, the next draft pick was Charlotte, the Women's Champion. She was drafted to Raw. Um, so that means the Women's title is going to Raw. Next for SmackDown, we have the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, is on SmackDown. But where does that leave Gallows and Anderson, the club? Will the club stay together? Find out. Now, the next pick, and the last and final pick for round one of the drafts. Man, this was probably the, one of the best picks of, of the night. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. We've been, we've been waiting for this guy to come on the main roster for months now. And tonight we finally hear from Shane. We finally hear from Stephanie and McFoley themselves. That's right. The longest reigning NXT champion, Finn Balor, is coming to Monday Night Raw. This was awesome. The, the crowd was on fire for Finn Balor being drafted to Raw. Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. He's going to make one hell of a performance on Raw. He's going to be unstoppable. So I can't wait to see him on Raw. Hopefully it starts next week. We'll see. Uh, so that's that was the end of the first round for the draft picks. So now we move on to the first matchup of the night, which was John Cena taking on Luke Gallows of the club. Uh... And this match did not, it wasn't one-on-one. -on -one. It was not uh, just a fair one-on-one -on -one match. Because the club came out, and then Enzo and Cass came out. So Enzo and Cass was, on, was uh, they were at ringside for Cena. And then, of course, AJ Styles and Carl Anderson were at ringside for Luke Gallows. This is the first time that John Cena ever fought Luke Gallows one-on-one, -on -one, I believe. Unless, maybe couple years back, you know, when the Straight Edge Society was around, maybe Cena fought like Gallus in one-on-one, I don't know, but I think this is probably the first time Cena and Gallus ever fought one-on-one, pretty decent matchup, it didn't end, um, it, it wasn't too bad of a, of a match, like, it just, it ended kind of fast, it was like maybe, maybe five minutes or so, but it, it, it ended when some... Um, when Cena and Gallus were both down in the ring, and then Enzo and Cass and Styles and Anderson, they came into the ring. They were all facing each other, staring, staring each other down, and it looked like they were going to get involved, but then 
uh, and then, I, uh, oh my god, I can't even speak. Then uh, Styles and Anderson were tossed over the top row by end zone Cass. Then John Cena picked up the win with the attitude adjustment. So, so Cena won on his first night on SmackDown. Oh, I just spoiled it. <laughs> I don't care. Because I'm going to reveal the, the list anyways. And plus, I'm going to talk about it, like, right now. So, next we have the second round of the draft picks. The first superstar to be drafted to Raw in round number two is none other than the big dog himself, the guy, Roman Reigns, who's been suspended for the past 30 days. He's returning this Sunday at Battleground to fight Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, his former Shield brethren, in a WWE Championship match. Roman Reigns drafted to Raw. <laughs> the reaction he got was so funny. People were just booing him out of the building. It was hilarious, but I can't imagine what, the, what kind of reaction he's going to get on Sunday. When he returns, he's, who knows, he might return as a heel or something, I don't know, we'll see. But Reigns is drafted to Raw. <laughs> I just spoiled this, like, a, a couple minutes ago, but I'm going to say anyways, the next person to be drafted to SmackDown was none other than the man who runs the place, the 15-time WWE champion, John Cena! Do, 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 do. John Cena's on SmackDown. And this is for real this time, because last time he was drafted to SmackDown, he was drafted back to Raw on the same night, and that was hilarious, but it made no sense. <laughs> but this time it's for real, John Cena is officially on SmackDown, this is a huge pick, and this is definitely, this is definitely going to be a huge, a huge change for SmackDown, so that's, that's an awesome pick. Uh, next we have the Beast Incarnate, the one who will be fighting Randy Orton. The returning Randy Orton at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar, has been drafted to Monday Night Raw. Next up, we have... We just talked about Brock Lesnar, and we talked about Randy Orton. So now, the next person to be drafted to SmackDown is none other than the Viper himself, Randy Orton. When he returns at Battleground, he's going to be on SmackDown. So, that's an awesome pick, too. He was mostly on SmackDown towards, like, 2000, I want to say 2011 or 12. Like, he he was on SmackDown towards, towards over the years, and now he's back on SmackDown, so that's cool for him. Um, and then the final draft pick for Monday Night Raw in round number two. Don't you dare be sour. Clap for your world-famous two-time champs and Feel the power. It's a new day. Yes, it is. That's right. The new day is drafted to Raw, and I'm I'm happy they didn't split up the new day here because it would have been a huge disappointment if all members of the new day were split up. But thank God they weren't. So new day, our WWE Tag Team Champions stay on Raw together. So I'm happy about that. Moving on, we got the next matchup of the night. We got Rusev and The Miz taking on the team of Zack Ryder and Darren Young. And believe it or not, this was the second the second time in a week Darren Young won a matchup. So I, I can't even tell right now if he's, gonna, if he's getting a championship push, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on Sunday, but I really don't think Darren Young is going to win Sunday. It's just my... Honest op opinion, and I will be uploading my prediction video for ba for Battleground tomorrow. So that will be tomorrow. Um, so yeah, Darren. Yeah, like I said, Darren Young and Zack Ryder won this match after Darren Young actually used Bob Backlund's finisher, the crossface chicken wing, and he won the matchup. And Miz tapped out. Darren Young made Miz tap out. He made the Intercontinental Champion tap out. Will that happen on Sunday? I don't think so. That's just my opinion. But we'll see. Uh, oh. Xavier Woods took on Bray Wyatt. This is the first time they ever fought one-on-one, -on -one and really nothing happened in this match. It was mostly, mostly just like a stare down between the two. Bray Wyatt tried to get in the head of Xavier Woods. It didn't really happen much, but 
it got he got into Xavier Woods' head just a little bit. Woods got distracted, and he easily just got pinned right away with his sister Abigail. He, you know, he 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 brought the fight to Bray Wyatt, but in the end, it was Wyatt who hits sister Abigail. One, two, three. Bray Wyatt is victorious. So it was a pretty quick match. Kane took on Kevin Owens, and <laughs> it, the match never even took place because. Again, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens beat the hell out of each other before matchup. These guys just can't wait to go at it on Sunday. They just been going at it for weeks now. You know, oh my god. Like ever since their matchup was announced for Battleground, they just been attacking each other nonstop in the locker room before a matchup, after a matchup. I mean these guys are just insane. This is probably like one of the hottest rivalries of this year so far. Unbelievable. I cannot wait for this matchup on Sunday. Hopefully it's as good as it was at, at Payback. Maybe even better. We'll see. So the match never even took place, like I said. Owens and Zayn beat up the hell beat the hell out of each other. Then Owens threw Zayn into the ring. Zayn was gonna get choke slam. Then Owens paid for it paid for it too and Kane double choke slam both. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and that's what ended that segment. Or match over, I, I couldn't even tell, but still, it wasn't even a match. So now we move on to round three of the draft picks. This time, we get the the underground, the underground, the underdog from the underground, Sami Zayn, is drafted to Raw. Now, I was really expecting Kevin Owens to be drafted to SmackDown, but that didn't happen. So that was kind of disappointing. You know, because I... I I seriously thought he was going to be drafted to Raw, but he wasn't. So, yeah. So, Sami Zayn got drafted to Raw, and Bray Wyatt was next, and he got drafted to SmackDown. But does that mean that the Wyatt family is coming to SmackDown, or is it just Bray Wyatt? We'll see. So, next, we have Sasha Banks, the boss herself. She's coming to Raw. And she's going up after the Women's Championship, of course. Probably at SummerSlam, since the tag team match is announced for Battleground. And we still don't know who her partner is. I still don't know who exactly it would be. If I had to take a pick, it would probably be Bailey, But a lot of people are saying that's not going to happen. So we'll, we'll see. But then again, Bailey is not really doing much in NXT right now. You know, ever since she lost the NXT Women's Championship, she really hasn't been doing much lately. But I think she's supposed to be fighting Asuka at TakeOver Brooklyn, I'm pretty sure, for the title. Or if she finally gets a rematch or something. I don't know, but um, she will most likely come up to the main roster after SummerSlam, I would say. But we'll see. So, yeah. Next was Becky Lynch, the last kicker. She was announced for SmackDown. I'm guessing Shane and, and Brian wanted Sasha for Raw, but uh, instead they took... For SmackDown, I my mistake. For SmackDown, but uh, it was Stephanie and Mick Foley who took Sasha for Raw. Therefore, Becky Lynch was drafted to SmackDown. And the final pick for round number three in the draft picks was none other than Y2J, Chris Jericho. He's on Raw. He stays on Raw. As, as what Y2J would say, drink it in, man. Chris Jericho's on Raw. The next matchup that took place was Sasha Banks taking on Dana Brooke and Charlotte in a two-on-one handicap match before their tag team matchup at Battleground. And poor Sasha got destroyed in this match. She easily just got pinned. You know, there, there was kind of a brawl outside the ring, and Sasha paid for it. And then in the end, it was Dana... And Charlie, who won when Charlie hit the natural selection. One, two, three. There you go. Hopefully that means that Sasha and her partner will win Sunday. And Sasha will win at SummerSlam. Possible. The next round of draft picks was round number four. Round number four. The first pick. The United States champion Rusev, along with Lana, being drafted to Raw. That means the U.S. title is coming to Raw. But then, The Miz and Maurice were drafted to SmackDown, which means the Intercontinental Championship is coming to SmackDown. 
And Daniel Bryan wasn't too happy for this pick either, but he had no other choice because Rusev was drafted to Raw. So we talked about Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens earlier. And at this point, I seriously thought, you know, since their last, their last matchup in the rivalry is going to be a battleground, unfortunately, it looks like it's not, even though I would love for it to keep going on because this rivalry is just unbelievable. And that's why they have their own fight forever shirt. And that's why people can't fight forever. Uh, but whoever knew that best friends could make the best bitter rivals in wrestling. That's amazing. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens is an example. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins is another example. Triple H and Shawn Michaels is another example. It, it, it doesn't get any better than that, man. Best friends versus best friends. Bitter rivals. Un, and, and probably the best rivalries of all time. So yeah, Kevin Owens was drafted to Raw here. I don't know why, though. I seriously thought they were... If Sami Zayn was drafted to Raw, I seriously thought they were going to draft Kevin Owens to SmackDown, but it was really the other way around. So now they're both on Raw. <laughs> Does that mean they're both going to go after each other? I don't know. It all depends here. If they're both on Raw, you got to control both... you got to control the both of them because they're not... They are not going to let this slide. I'm telling you right now... Once their matchup is over at Battleground, they're still going to beat the living hell out of each other. And then they'll probably have one more match for SummerSlam. But they, they, nah, the Sami Zayn was saying that this would be the final matchup at Battleground for this bitter rivalry, but I don't know. <sighs> it, just, it just gets better and better. Uh, next person to be drafted to SmackDown was the Lone Wolf himself, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Baron Corbin, who made his debut at WrestleMania from NXT, being drafted to SmackDown. That's pr pretty pretty good pick. Uh, he's not that big of a star right now, so I kind of see why you'd be drafting be drafting him to SmackDown because there's just all the new guys, and then like all the new people are just being really drafted to SmackDown, so that SmackDown can be making a change. Because Smack Shane even said it himself, he wants to make SmackDown. A better show than it was before. He wants to make a huge change to SmackDown. He wants all the new stars from NXT and and the ones who just came up to the main roster just to be dominant on SmackDown. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the last pick for round number four of the draft picks. S A W F T. So Enzo Amore and Big Cass have been drafted to Raw. Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan were very disappointed here. They really wanted his own cast on SmackDown. But it was Shane and... Shane. It was Steph and McFoley who took his own cast. And that was very disappointing for Shane and Bryan. So that was the end of round number four for the draft picks. Next up, we have Cesaro taking on Chris Jericho. A pretty, it was a pretty good match. Cesaro, the last time they fought each other, Cesaro was the one who won this match. Uh, however, it was the other way around. As Cesaro, he went to deliver his crazy springboard uppercut, but he got caught, and he immediate, and Jericho immediately countered with the code breaker, and Jericho won this match. So uh, that was a pretty awesome counter. Uh, then we were supposed to have um, Natalia in a match against... Who was it? I think Alicia Fox or someone. I don't know. But, yeah, just just like on Raw, you know, where Becky Lynch got attacked before her match, Natalia got attacked before her match with Becky Lynch. With uh, whoever. Alicia Fox, I don't care. But Becky Lynch got payback, and she beat the hell out of, out of Natalia before Battleground. So, this rivalry is getting bitter as well. And it will all end. Now we move on to the next round, round number five. Five. Gallows and Anderson. This was a pretty, pretty uh, huge shocker here. It kind of a surprise. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, a.k.a. the club, a.k.a. no longer the club, 
with AJ Styles. They're on separate brands. Gallows and Anderson have been directed to Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles is on SmackDown. But Finn Balor is also on Raw. So does that mean we can see the 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 we could finally see the debut of the Balor Club? I don't know. We'll we'll all see. But uh Gallows and Anderson on Raw and Styles is on SmackDown. Uh the next pick was another superstar from NXT. Amazing pick here. This was unbelievable. The hottest tag team in NXT right now. Ready, William, and Gable. American Alpha. Jason Jordan and Chad Gable. They are on SmackDown. This is a huge pick. The crowd really popped for both of these guys. And they are just an unbelievable team. They are really like the world's greatest tag team. That was... Kurt Angle and, and Kurt Angle. That was Shelton Benjamin, Charlie Haas. So this is really like, I don't know, a more updated version of that team, of the world's greatest tag team. And a lot of people would like to see Kurt Angle return just to manage them, but I don't know. Still, that's it's exciting to see all these NXT guys come up to the main roster. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next person to be drafted to Raw. A lot of people weren't too happy about this. Does pe do, do, like, do people care at this point about this guy? I don't know. I don't think so. But Big Show has been drafted to Raw. <laughs> Moving on. Because <laughs> no one wants to talk about the Big Show anymore. No offense. Dolph Ziggler has been drafted to SmackDown. Michael Cole mentioned that Ziggler wanted to make a change. He wants to become world champion again. Maybe that would happen... Now that, we, now that he's on SmackDown, but we'll see. The next person to be drafted to Raw is another person from NXT. However, this just made no sense to me whatsoever. Why on earth would you draft this person this early to the main roster? She hasn't even been in NXT for that long. And she's already on the friggin' main roster. Yeah, yeah, I don't care for her. I don't even care for her. Nia Jax is drafted to Raw. Just why? Tell tell me why. I I'm not a big I'm not a fan of her at all. At least not yet. But I mean, like, I find her boring. You know, I get that she's related with the, to the Rock and the Usos and Roman Reigns, but still, just why would you bring her up so damn earlier? Really, just it made no sense. I re it really would have it really would have made sense to to draft Bailey instead. That would have been a bigger surprise. It would have been a bigger reaction. Because as soon as uh, Stephanie said to be like a new new woman from NXT, the crowd popped. And then when Nia Jax was announced, Stephanie trolled the WWE Universe and they all booed Nia Jax. You can't blame them. I don't care for Nia Jax. I probably don't ever will. I don't know. I, I just don't care for her right now. So I could really care less what she does on Raw. Next, um, the next round in the draft picks. First person to be drafted to Raw in round number six, I believe. Yeah, round number six. Next person to be drafted to Raw is the man that Gravity forgot, the returning Neville, is coming back to Monday nights. He's going to be on Raw. Awesome pick. I can't wait to see him return to Raw. Natalia, who was beat the hell out of bed. Who beat the hell out of Becky Lynch on Raw, and then who got beat up by Becky Lynch earlier in the night, has been drafted to SmackDown. I'm sure no one cares. The next person to be drafted to Raw is none other than the Swiss Superman, the King of Swing, Cesaro. Cesaro has been drafted to Raw. Awesome pick. However, I don't know why he was drafted so late into the show. And I still wanted him to be on SmackDown. There's a lot of guys that really wanted to be on SmackDown. I really wanted Cesaro and Kevin Owens to be on SmackDown. Um, who else? I don't, I don't even know. But still, just... Man, so, Raw really taking uh, the people that they wanted for SmackDown. I'm, I'm sure it was... Owens and Cesaro, who really wanted to go to SmackDown, but uh, they're on Raw. Okay. 
So, Cesaro's on Smack on up I wish he was on SmackDown. Cesaro's on Raw. Next person to be drafted to SmackDown is Alberto Del Rio. Mexico's Grace Export. And then the last person to be drafted to Raw. This was the last pick of the night. The rest of the draft picks would be announced on the WB Network after SmackDown was off the air. Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, he's been drafted to Raw. So there you have it. There are all the draft picks for the night for the night and for SmackDown Live. However, the rest will be announced within an hour. Now we move on to the main event. The rematch for the WWE Championship, Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Now, there was a controversial finish last night. Ambrose and Rollins, they both pinned each other down with the superplex. One, two, three. The referee counted three. Referee was knocked out before this happened. And then the referee wanted to see the replay. He saw the replay three times in a row in the three camera angles. And he announced the match was, was a draw. And Ambrose is still champion. Therefore, the match is taking place again right now. Or last night. Ambrose versus Rollins, the rematch, because of that controversial finish for, this, for the title. Now, the match didn't even start um, right away because Ambrose was attacked before the match by Seth Rollins. And once the commercial break was over, Ambrose... He was already kind of beat up, but he still wanted to fight Rollins. Of course, he's a fighting champion. Why wouldn't he? And the match finally started, and then it, Seth Rollins beat the living hell out of Ambrose within, like, half, most of the matchup. And again, these guys just pulled off an amazing match, like they always do. I, I really loved it. I wouldn't... I don't know if it was better than last night... Than, uh, Last night's match on Raw, but it was definitely another amazing match for these two. So Ambrose and Rollins of another another amazing performance by both men. In the end, however, Dean Ambrose ended up retaining the WWE Championship clean. He beat Seth Rollins clean. There was a certain point where Seth Rollins was going to hit the pedigree, but Ambrose immediately countered and hit the dirty deeds. One, two, three, Ambrose is still the WWE Champion. Amazing counter by Ambrose. So yeah, awesome. But the way he won, I love. I love how he won. Seth Rollins normally goes for the superplex Falcon Arrow combo off the top rope. Now we thought we were gonna see the same thing to happen the previous night, which was the double pin from the superplex. But Rollins wanted to deliver the Falcon Arrow. But he couldn't do it because immediately after Seth Rollins hit the superplex, Ambrose countered and he drilled up the dirty deeds and Ambrose is still the WWE Champion, which means he would defend the, the title against Seth Rollins once again for the third time in a week. Third time in a week he's fighting Seth Rollins for the belt and now it's Roman Reigns being involved in the year two. So yeah, there you go. That's it for the draft picks. And that's it for SmackDown Live. Hope you guys enjoyed it. However, we're not done here because now, like I promised, we are going to name everybody that was drafted to Raw and everybody that was drafted to SmackDown, including the people that were announced from the network. So, we're going to start things off with Monday Night Raw. We got Seth Rollins, Charlotte, NXT, The Demon, Finn Frickin' Balor, Amazing pick. We got Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, The New Day, happy they're all together, Sami Zayn, Sasha Banks, Chris Jericho, Rusev Alana, Kevin Owens, Enzo and Cass. I'm glad they didn't split up either. Gallus and Anderson, no longer the club. It's, well, maybe they still are the club, but AJ Styles is no longer in it. Uh, the Big Show, Nia Jax. I still don't know why she was drafted so early, but I still don't care for her. Uh, the returning Neville's coming back, Cesaro, Sheamus. Now, these are the people that were announced on the network. We got the Golden Truth, R-Truth, and Goldust. We got Titus O'Neil. We got Paige, Darren Young, along with Bob Blackland, Sin Cara, 
Jack Swagger, the Dudley Boys, Summer Rae, Mark Henry, Braun Strowman, Bo Dallas, Shine, the Shining Stars, Alicia Fox, Dana Brooke, and Curtis Axel. Wow. Okay. So there you have it for uh, for Raw. Braun Strowman, you can easily tell. Once Strowman was announced for Raw, that means the Wyatt family was was immediately split up. So Bray Wyatt's on SmackDown and Braun Strowman's on Raw. Well, where does that lead Eric Rowan? I'm about to say right now. So now we got SmackDown. We got the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, the face that runs the place, John Cena, the Viper, Randy Orton, the face of fear, Bray Wyatt, the last kicker, Becky Lynch, the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, along with Maurice, the Lone Wolf, the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner, Baron Corbin, NXT's hottest tag team, American Alpha, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable. I really, really love these guys in NXT, and they're going to make, they are going to be awesome on SmackDown. Definitely future world tag team champions. Dolph Ziggler, Natalia, Alberto Del Rio, The Usos, Kane, Kalisto, Lucha Dragons were split up, Naomi, The Ascension, Zack Ryder, Apollo Crews, another NXT call-up, we got Alexa Bliss, we got a Bree Zango, Tyler Breeze and Fandango, even Marie, I'm sure a lot of people are pissed about that, the Vaude Villains, Eric Rowan, that means the Whites are officially split up, Mojo Raleigh, another NXT call-up, and another NXT call-up, Carmella. So there you go, guys. There you go. That's everybody who was drafted to Raw and everybody drafted to SmackDown. Now, as you can tell, the people drafted from NXT were the Demon Friend Balor, American Alpha, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable. There would be six call-ups. So it was, it was, that makes three already. Then we got... Oh, uh, Nia Jax. Bad pick. Then, then Alexa Bliss, then Mojo Raleigh, then Carmel. But that's actually seven, or maybe American Alpha counts as one. Well, I think I think I think it does. But either way, six people were drafted from NXT. My favorite ones drafted were definitely the Finn Balor, the Demon, and Ready Will and the Gable, American Alpha. I cannot wait for these guys to be on Raw and SmackDown. Really amazing. I can't wait for next week. This week was unbelievable, but I'm still not done because I still got to watch the finale of Ultima Lucha Dose on Lucha Underground, and then I still got to watch Impact Wrestling on Thursday. So, I'm not still not done with wrestling this week. Amazing, amazing week so far for the WWE, and the draft was amazing as well. So, there you have it, guys. It's officially the end of this video. I know it was a long video this time around, but I had to announce everybody that was in the draft, including the people from NXT. So there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys think about the draft. Were you happy that certain people were announced for Raw and SmackDown? Were you disappointed that some people from NXT didn't get called up, like Nakamura, like Bailey, you know, guys, people like that? Were you were you kind of pissed off they didn't get drafted? Um... Austin Aries, Bobby Roode, Samoa Joe, other people like that. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about the draft. Who was your favorite pick that was announced for Raw and SmackDown? Mine was obviously, for Raw, Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. And then for SmackDown, Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles. My top two picks for Raw and SmackDown. So, there you have it. Those are my picks. Uh, another, another pick that I loved... Another two picks I love for SmackDown, John Cena and Randy Orton. And then, of course, for Raw, um, two more guys that I love being on Raw, Brock Lesnar and uh, Roman Reigns. So here you go. Those are my picks of who I love the most being on Raw and SmackDown. I can't wait to see what happens at Battleground on Sunday. My, Like I said, my Battleground prediction video will be coming tomorrow, so that would be on this channel so once again thank you guys for watching this review of the draft and let me know what you thought of it so I'm officially out this video is finally over 
almost a 40 minute video it's crazy but it's all over now so just relax it's all over now so now you can watch it all right so thank you guys for watching like this video leave a comment favorite it subscribe for more and i'll be back tomorrow